Welcome to 5 Minute Friday, everybody, where we share our best tips and tricks to help you get just a little bit better. And this week, we're wearing the same clothes because we had the idea five minutes ago and we said we need to record this 5 Minute Friday. So, Eddie, here's what I got this week. What you got? That was a lot of words for one. Yeah, you went very <laughs> fast. You finished last week with I'm thankful for my coffee. Nothing okay. mysterious All right. here. Okay. So this week, here's the word. Yes. Don't be a whiner. Okay. If you want to stand out in business or anything for that matter, don't be a whiner. I am seeing this and I've, I saw it in detailing too, but I am seeing that especially in the agency world as a video producer, I am seeing how my peers in this space, um, they will nickel and dime. They will hem and haw over something being revised mm. or changed or tweaked. Now I get it. That can be very frustrating. That can be a very demoralizing thing, especially when you're on Rev 11 it can be a very frustrating thing to have that music changed on you. Yeah. Okay. Uh, construction industry, you know this well. I know you know this well because I've sat in that seat as a detailer when the beam size changes for the umpteenth thousand time or, you know, this door moved or this, that, and the other. Okay. I get it. But if you in your organization, you want to set your organization apart train into your people and train into yourself, just say, yeah, okay, we got it. We're good. We got it. No problems. Yes, sir. No, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Like, don't be a pushover. That's not what I'm saying. Don't be a pushover, but be somebody that can be proactive and just roll with the punches. I assure you people will come back because they see that. You remember back in the day when we were doing early training mm -hmm. and a change would come back and kind of the first instinct was to be like, oh my gosh, this is going to take so much time. Yep. And we, I, I don't know if it was multiple times or if it was just one, but it was just kind of, there was a moment there where we broke it down and we were like, listen, you're going to whine about this for an hour and a half or you're going to fix it for 30 minutes. So why don't we just fix it and not do the whining and which that probably sounds bad like Tyler was whining non-stop <laughs> no. hey I think ABSI had a hey. little bit of a whiner culture in that moment yeah, yeah you know yeah. like there was something that just a light bulb went on in me and I went man do I I spend a lot of time hey, belly aching I'm guilty of it guys like I'm not sitting here saying that I, I have it all figured out like I I'm totally guilty of this yeah totally guilty of whining and complaining about things. But yeah, you had that realization of, wait, if we whine for an hour and a half and then it takes us 30 minutes to get this done, we just wasted two hours. That's right. So guys, don't be a whiner. Don't be a whiner. Just get your head down and do the thing. All right, like roll with the punches. And I promise you, you'll be rewarded. I'm not saying be a pushover, but roll with the punches. Be that person that can just say, yeah, we got it. We got it handled. So, all right, guys, go build something awesome.